Hello friends, welcome to Jomi Tech Solutions. Today we are going to discuss the Swing library of Java and we will learn to start a complete course of Swing with coding. In this course, we will understand the Swing elements, libraries and other featured functionalities that are required to make a complete application. In this course, we will use IntelliJ IDEA Community IDE which is the most powerful tool I find to came up with. You can also use Eclipse or NetBeans if you are already users of them. But I chose IntelliJ IDEA Community more helpful and vast. So let's start the IDE, create a new project, name the project whatever the name you want to create your project on. This is the location where your project's gonna be stored. You can change it by clicking the folder icon at the right side of location bar. Now this is the most important thing, JDK is the compiler which compiles our programs, make them visible into the machine. So make sure you choose the compiler. If you don't see any compiler, you can download it by clicking on this download link shown in the compilers list. We are going to create project from scratch so we don't need a sample project. Hit on create button to get ready for other moves. Now here we get some repositories including src directory which is the project source. Many people's mistake to create their classes inside the src directory which is not safe. So make sure to create a package first. I name my package jobmetech or just jobme is enough for me doesn't matter. Now create a class inside the package. This class will be our main class so we'll name it as main app. But it's not necessary you can name it your way if you want. Now here are some important things we need to proceed before starting any function or method. As we are learning Swing and are going to make interacted Windows forms, we must import the Swing library and extend the JFrame class with the class we are going to work on. Extends JFrame class. You can see IntelliJ IDEA itself imported the Swing library for us. If you are already a Java user, you know the main method. It's the engine of Java class which handles all the other functions we'll gonna create. So let's create public static void main and parse the string array arguments. This will be recognized as the main method to the compiler. Now create a class constructor by using public in the class name. Wrap with parentheses and function body. We'll come back to the constructor in a moment. Create the new object class and set visibility to true. This set visible function came from the extended class jframe. Come to the constructor and call the initialize components function. Then create that public void init components method to set frame attributes like title, size, layout and other basic things needed. Now the functions we gonna set are coming from extended class jframe. Set title and write the name you want to title your app. Set size method gets many types of size arguments but I always choose to use dimension size object. New dimension and size in width and height. Set layout to null for now. We'll discuss layout in our other session of video. To center your application on a screen you have to set location relative to null. In console apps. On termination, the class destroys all running tasks. But in Swing, if you close the app from cross sign, it will not terminate memory loaded on RAM. To terminate, you have to set default close operation as jframe.exit on close. All the basic things to start a frame are filled. What is missing? The application compiler configuration. This is the second most important thing after JDK in IntelliJ IDEA. It's not required in NetBeans or Eclipse but in IntelliJ IDEA it's always required on a new project. Just click on edit configuration and click on add new. Choose application from the list. Name your configuration. Choose your main class which you want to run. As we created main app, I will gonna choose main app as my main class and leave all the other parameters same as they are. Now hit apply and ok. Hit on play or compile button to run the process we built. Wait a moment to compile resources. You can see we have successfully generated JFrame form by using Swing library. In addition, we learned to add image icon to the window form. Come into the init components method and just set icon image which requires an image into its argument. We'll create a new image icon and put the image path or location with its extension importantly. Then get convert that image icon to image just by using its inbuilt function get image. Now compile the project. You can see it's showing the logo we gave path of. So I think it's enough for our initial class. But don't worry, even better things are coming in our coming classes. 
until you guys should like comment and share our videos and importantly if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and hit on bell icon to get alerts of our new videos thank you